Welcome to the Statistic Pass of SimpleLecture.com. Today, we are going to discuss Chapter 1 Introduction to Statistics and some basic concepts. In Chapter 1.1, let us going to discuss about Introduction to Statistics. In this session, we will discuss about Introduction of Statistics, Origin and Development of Statistics, Definitions of Statistics and Branches of Statistics. Let us start with the Introduction of Statistics. Statistics we are using in every facet of our life. Whenever we are having problem or whenever we want to take some decision, we can use statistics. People may be facing many problems. So, how to get the solution of the problem? Whenever we are thinking about any problem, understanding the problem is very, very important. Once if you understand the problem, then we need to collect data regarding to the problem. Then after collecting the data, we need to analyze and then interpret. Hence, we can get the solution of the problem. In this way, statistics is very useful to solve any problem. Similarly, in our life, we need to take decision in many situations. Suppose, you want to take some particular decision without collecting the data and without analyzing it, we cannot take a better decision. Hence, let us understand how we are going to utilize statistics in our daily life. So, in the introduction part of statistics, we will study about statistics which deals with gathering, organizing and analyzing data. Statistics plays an important role in almost every facet of human life. In many situations, we all need to justify decisions on the basis of data. We need statistical models to support our decisions. Hence, to take better decisions or to solve any problem, we can utilize statistics. Hence, let us understand the use of statistics and definitions of statistics, meaning of statistics, characteristics of statistics, also function of statistics. So, in this session, we are going to discuss first the introduction of statistics. See, these statistics, these skills enable us to collect, analyze and interpret data and make relevant decision. So, if you want to take relevant decision, we need to collect the data first. After collecting, we need to analyze the data, how it is. After that, we need to interpret the data. After the analysis, analysis we will get the proper decision. Also, statistical concepts and statistical thinking enable us to solve problems in almost any domain. Whatever problems are happening, like in agriculture or production, manufacturing, quality, medical life. So everywhere we will be using statistics to solve the problems related to that field. Also it helps us to support our decision. Statistics reduces our guesswork. No need of guessing any imagination. We can get the proper data and analyze and interpret that. Hence we can use statistics for decision making also for solving the problems. Now, let us discuss origin of statistics. Statistics seems to have originated when man started counting, comparing and keeping records in one or the other way. Earlier ages, people used to record their activities. From that, statistics is originated. Statistics took birth when the people started expressing their ideas such as members in your family, livestock and quantities given or taken in the barter system etc. in numerical terms. So, if you collect the data in numerical terms, then we can talk about statistics. Here, the origin of statistics emerged from the olden days. In olden days, statistics was regarded as the science of statecraft and was the byproduct of the administrative activity of a state. So, for any administrative activity, they used statistics earlier. The word statistics seems to have been derived from Latin word status or the Italian word statista or the German word statistic 
or the French word statistic, each of which means political state. So earlier days, to express or to analyze or to interpret the political state, statistics was used. Now, how statistics developed? So development of statistics, let us discuss now. At present, statistics has grown at a phenomenal rate. The applications of statistics is done in almost all the disciplines of knowledge. Statistics is widely used as a valuable tool in the analysis of the problems in physical and social sciences, commerce, economics, and also in science and technology. So we are using statistics in almost every facet of our life. We are using in agriculture, we are using for medicines, we are using for economics, commerce, also science and technology. So statistics is an important tool for decision making as well as for problem solving. Now, again we will continue the development of statistics. See the subjects like medicine use statistics to draw valid and meaningful conclusions. Sir Ronald A. Fisher is considered as father of statistics. His contribution for statistics is more. The Indian scholar Prashant Chandra Mahalanobis is called the father of Indian statistics. So these two great personalities proposed many theorems and many interpretations for statistics. Now let us discuss the definitions of statistics. The word statistics represents different meanings with reference to different contexts. Numerical statement of facts or statistical data. So let us understand the meaning of statistics in different way. In different situation, it is defined in different way. So let us understand numerical statement of facts or statistical data. So we can define statistics as numerical statement of facts or statistical data. Statistics stands for the numerical information from which certain conclusions can be drawn. We can talk about the age of some persons or income of some people or production of a product. So in all these statements, we are using statistics as a numerical data. Now let us understand statistics in another way. For example, the income statistics of a group of five employees in rupees are 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, 16,000 and 18,000. Here, we are representing these incomes as numerical data. Hence, here statistics is used to represent the numerical data. So, we can use statistics to represent numerical data. Now, we can represent statistics as statistical methods. Statistics stands for the methods of the collection, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical information. That is to collect, to represent, analyze and draw valid conclusions on the basis of numerical data. So first we were describing statistics as the collection of numerical data. Now we are discussing statistical method for another meaning for statistics. So statistics can be interpreted in two ways, either as collection of numerical data or statistical methods. So in these two ways, we can define statistics. Now, statistics as numerical statements of facts. Here, we are defining statistics in plural sense. So now, Professor Horace Sechrist defines statistics as the aggregate of facts affected to a marked extent by multiplicity of causes numerically expressed, enumerated, or estimated according to a reasonable standard of accuracy collected in a systematic manner for a predetermined purpose and placed in relation to each other. This definition explains which type of numerical data can be called as statistics. Wonderful definition was given by Professor Horace Sechrist. He defines statistics in such a way that it can be explained in the plural sense as well as we can understand statistics, the characteristics of statistics, the function of statistics from this definition itself. See the definition, the aggregate of facts affected to a marked extent 
this is one of the characteristics of statistics also it is numerically expressed we can express the data numerically that is called statistics also it is enumerated or estimated meaning we are going to guess or we are going to forecast the future using statistics that is why it is given as enumerated or estimated according to a reasonable standard we cannot enumerate simply according to your own wish so we have to enumerate or estimate with a certain accuracy so we can use statistics to enumerate or to estimate things according to some accuracy also it is collected in a systematic manner when we are collecting the data it should be systematic so then only we can get the proper estimation so for a predetermined purpose now why we are collecting the data we will be having some objective predetermined purpose then only whatever data we are collecting it will be satisfying the objectives now relation to each other meaning whatever characteristics we are collecting and we are going to estimate and enumerate it should be related to each other irrelevant facts if you collect then we cannot take better decision also we cannot get the better solution hence horace sacrist defined statistics in this way this is very useful to understand about the characteristics as well as the functions of statistics so let us now see statistics as a statistical method but in singular sense the previous definition we understood statistics in plural sense now we are going to discuss statistics in singular sense how it is defined in singular sense the various activities of statistics are collection classification tabulation of numerical facts description and comparison analysis and interpretation here it is defined as a method but it is defined in the singular sense hence statistics can be characterized as an applied science which helps in drawing conclusion hence we can define statistics in singular sense as well as in plural sense so we understood now the meaning of statistics in singular sense as well as in plural sense now let us understand definitions of statistics given by various statisticians a l bowley defined statistics as the science of counting afterwards he redefined it as the science of averages so according to bowley it was considered as the science of counting later he redefined it as the science of averages averages in the sense mean median more etc so we can redefine or bowley's according to bowley's definition it is redefined as the science of averages now boddington de defined statistics as the science of estimates and probabilities now crosstown and gordon defined statistics as the science of collection presentation analysis and interpretation of numerical data so here statistics is defined by various statisticians in different way anyhow all these different definitions tells us about either the singular sense meaning or the plural sense meaning now let us understand the branches of statistics so statistics have two branches namely statistical methods and applied statistics let us see where and all it is considered as statistical methods and where and all we are applying is as applied statistics statistical methods are also called mathematical statistics or theory of statistics now it deals with the procedure of statistical analysis of numerical data hence statistical method when we are considering it will be talking about the numerical data it is a tool for decision making whatever numerical data we are obtaining we can take decision based upon the numerical data hence statistical methods are also called mathematical statistics or we can say it is as theory of statistics now we will talk about applied statistics applied statistics is the application of statistical method to concrete situations like agriculture industry population medicines etc almost in our every facet of life 
we are using statistics. So how we are using? Using statistics, how we are getting the solution and how we are getting the interpretation that is called applied statistics. Some branches of applied statistics are biometry, demography, econometrics, statistical quality control, aquarial science and stylometry and physiometry. So in these areas, we are using statistics in such a way that we, after applying statistical method, we can get the valid inference and when we can take better decisions. Now, let us discuss statistics as statistical methods. Here, statistics stands for the methods of collection, presentation, analysis and interpretation of numerical information. That is, to collect, represent, analyze and draw valid conclusions on the basis of numerical data. The previous definition, we defined statistics as numerical facts. Here, statistics is defined as statistical methods. So these are the two ways of interpreting statistics. Friends, in today's class, we discussed about meaning of statistics, origin and development of statistics, definition of statistics, branches of statistics. Hence, we understood the meaning of statistics, also the branches of statistics in today's class. Friends, if you have any doubts, feel free to ask your doubts by posting your doubts to the statistics forum of symbollecture.com. Thank you.